Hello and welcome back to Tortuga, a pirate's tale. And uh, we're here in this wonderful port because I've returned to try and recruit this mercenary. Now you may be thinking, well, didn't you try to do that in a previous episode? Yes, I did in actual fact. However, this fellow required us to make two captains total walk the plank. And now what's really funny about this is that I actually had the opportunity to do that while I was gathering my strength once again. And I actually did manage to make a Dutch captain walk the plank because I have a task from a Spanish governor that says to me, Oh, you must, you must uh, take out a bunch of Dutch uh, convoys and so on. And so there you go. I actually attacked one. And we were able to make the captain walk the plank, which was the one other person that we needed to fulfill this particular captain's requirements. And now, as you can see, we're speaking to him and he says, well, he doesn't say this, not yet at least, but this is how it goes. The captain is sitting casually on a bench. He has a pistol in his hand and gestures wildly with it as he speaks. Ah, captain, how nice of you. You've made it here. I hope, you, I hope you've had a pleasant stay so far. What can good old Vane do for you? Well, uh, you and your crew, what about working for me? Vane starts laughing. You seem pretty competent. Count me in as long as the pay is good. Welcome on board then. All right, so there you go. We now have another captain, as you can see. I actually do have, thanks to being level 10, I do have another slot for another captain. And we know 100% that there is a captain available. Thank you to uh, one person that let me know that in the comments. There is one available in Florida that is uh, only 50,000. Just basically only, the, the only prerequisite is, uh, is 50,000 to have them join us, which is actually amazing. So very much wanted to try to do that. And um, I, w I, I badly want to get this. I badly want to get this maximized because uh, I think that's the main reason why we're having some issues, in my opinion at least, but yeah, well, whatever the case, um, yeah, so this is my current situation at the moment. I don't have anything amazing, okay, so I have actually just, you know, improved things somewhat, nothing too amazing here, so as you can see, Charles has a brig and Seamus has a sloop but that is obviously going to change very very quickly as you might expect so what we're going to do um yeah we're going to just go for probably like swivel guns and the light mortar actually this is not even bad this is not even not even terrible i mean technically we could do that support slots we can't even do okay so we're just going to do carronade should we do carronade or should we go for something like long nines or something i, I don't even know maybe we should do long nines because literally they do so much damage. You know what? Let's try long nines and see what happens. Because I think that's going to be kind of fun. And he can turn into kind of like a bit of a sniper for us. Potentially. I think that sounds like a pretty fun idea. So that's what we're going to do here. And I don't have anything else to go for. Alright. So that seems pretty good to me. As you can see I already have Seamus kind of kitted out with carronades. But you can see that he's also on a sloop. Which is just terrible. I mean really. It is some of the worst stuff that we can have. So yeah, that's not not great. So I will try, if I can, in this episode, we will try to uh, attack some some harder enemies, and we'll you know hopefully capture some some uh, some better ships and so on and so forth. I'm going to be really really hoping that we'll be able to do that. However, the main concern that I have right now is literally just completing some of these tasks because we do have a bunch of buccaneer tasks to be able to complete for England as well as the Dutch too. And so I would very much like to see what we can do with those. So that means attacking Spanish convoys, which I'm not a big fan of. I don't really like attacking Spain because they're so close to their towns all the time. It makes it very difficult for us to leave. But whatever the case, we are here in Spanish territory and we might as well make the most of it. So I'm actually just going to attack these guys. Here we go. Let's do it. I don't know whether I can intimidate them to actually make this work. But yeah, anyway, uh, this is going to give us a good opportunity at least to try out the long nines. As you can see, this is a very different style of play. I don't even know what kind of skills this guy has. So me giving him long nines might have actually been counterintuitive, to be honest. 
but um, I guess we'll I guess we'll find out, you know. I guess we'll find out and see exactly what's going on with him. So what what is this? What is this ability? I don't even know what that ability is. So I guess we're gonna see what happens. Okay, so unfortunately the enemy is in a really terrible position for us right here. So you can see here that we basically cannot attack them no matter what we do. So I'm just gonna move Charles all the way over there. Doesn't really do much for us to. Um, you know, go up to them just yet. So we're just going to move around like so. Generally, it's a good idea to not get yourself both of your ships on either side of the of the opponent because then they're going to be able to fire at the same time and it's going to be absolutely terrible. So yeah, anyway, let me see what I can do here. Okay, so that's some decent damage, but I'd like something a bit better. Yeah, this is a very difficult... Yeah, you were very correct, by the way. Someone actually did mention this, that the long nines, while they are fantastic in damage... They're very difficult to utilize, and you can see that very clearly here. I mean, look at the, look at <laughs> look at this. You've got to be so incredibly careful. Yeah, it's extremely difficult to actually make that work. All right, well, we're just going to go for a boarding action, as you might expect. That is the thing that we're going to do, and we're literally just going to go straight up here and win this. We should be able to. Oh, it's a ram. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so literally this guy has a ramming attack. Okay, did not know that. Anyway, here we go. We can go around here and then we can basically just shoot these guys. I mean, technically we could. Yeah, I mean, we can't do grape shot right now, but yeah, there you go. There's a little bit of damage, not as much as I'd want, but obviously it is a Briggs attack and a Brig doesn't really have that much. Uh, in the way of, well, pretty much anything. So yeah, I'm probably gonna just going to switch back to the Carronades, to be honest, because they're much more usable. As you can see, that this one is just, you know, it's just way too... I mean, look at this, you know. You can basically just not, not use it in its most appropriate form, which is a kind of sad, to be honest. But anyway, there we go. We're going to try... Uh, should we try to board? I mean, 5%, 5 <laughs> 5 aren't oh we? Yeah, 5% boarding. Yeah, that's never going to work. All right, well, there you go. We were able to achieve victory, which, of course, is to be expected. I mean, really. Oh, it's actually oh, it's actually a bark? Okay, that's hilarious. I didn't even realize it was, to be honest. So that's pretty good. That maybe means that we'll be able to give Seamus a new um, a new ship, which is kind of, um, kind of, you know, that's pretty good, you know? That's pretty good, so... Wait a minute. Um, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the bark myself. And then Seamus will take my old ship because that's going to have carronades. And that's pretty good in my opinion. So we'll just do this. There we go. And then we can probably... I, I'm going to sell the... I'm going to sell the sloop, I think. I don't think that there's any reason to keep it because... All things considered, even if I do get an additional captain, I would much prefer to just not <laughs> I, yeah you know i just prefer not to uh, to use a sloop if at all possible so we'll see what happens with that just gonna sell a couple of pieces of our loot here and we're just gonna get some additional crew there we are wonderful and now we can make our way out okay there we go okay so now we have oh look at that there's another one there i guess we will actually continue attacking oh hello are you wanting to fight? You want to fight? Are you serious? Okay. Sure. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. I'm I'm kind of surprised that, he, you know, they decided to do this. I'm surprised that Charles is actually the first person that gets to move in the fight, to be honest. I would have expected us to be able to do that, considering we have the bark. But apparently that does not matter. Anyway, let me see. Can I actually do something here? Yeah, as you can see, this is very, very unusable in a variety of situations. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, okay. You can actually hit. Kind of. Kind of. Not really. 25% chance, as you can see. Basically impossible. Basically impossible. So, yeah. Definitely going to be replacing those sometime soon. Obviously, right now is not really going to happen because we are quite far away from Portobello right now. But we will be after this. I don't think I'm going to actually show you that though. Probably just going to go off and do that myself. Let's go and board this. 38% chance. Everyone's just going to board it. There we go. Perfect. And we are winning this very, very handily. And there we have it. Oh, we failed? Really? We failed again? 
Are you serious right now? Okay. Um. <laughs> what about a ram? Can we ram? Yes, there's the ram. Oh, it actually dealt damage. It actually dealt a lot of damage. I got an achievement for that. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. Um. You are now in range to try a fancy new ram. Ramming will damage both ships, potentially hurting hull and crew while ignoring armor. The results are based on the relative mass of the ships. So ramming much bigger ships is not advised. Of course not. Okay. Uh, yeah, so now my boarding is not really going to work. Uh, thankfully, Charles actually was still boarding the guy. So that was the only reason why we were able to actually achieve victory there. Surprisingly enough, pretty difficult. Wouldn't have expected that, but okay. Anyway, let's just make our way back to Portobello. And I, as I said, I'm going to just do this myself. You don't have to stay with me for this. And then after that, we're probably going to move on to the pirate base nearby, the pirate hideout. Maybe try to take that over and maybe also attack a couple of extra Spanish convoys to get these tasks done. Alright, so we have now moved into pirate territory and we're just about to attack two vessels. One is a bark and the other one is a uh, regular brig as far as I'm aware. Now, what's the funny thing about this is that uh, this pirate bark is actually really, really strong. Surprisingly strong in actual fact. So I'm thinking to myself, we might have some issues here. I did actually see in my earlier fights that there was an opponent with an insane, and I'm talking about absolutely insane amount of hull armor. I'm actually really surprised about that. And as you can see, the same kind of deal is happening here. You see how much damage we're actually able to deal. These are literal carronades that we have available to us, but yet they are not doing anything against our opponent. It is extremely weird. I don't know what's going on with that, to be honest. I would have expected us to be able to do so much more and i mean you can see here i think they have almost yeah i mean they've almost sunk one of our vessels which is uh, well they did they did critical damage against our vessel right there so yeah anyway we're gonna try uh apparently pff, i don't even <laughs> i don't even know i don't even know i guess we're actually just gonna ram this boom we did some damage to the hull which is always good but bear in mind that both ships take damage. So that is obviously something to bear in mind. Okay, here we go. Can we... Uh, yeah, we can board this one. There we are. Okay, perfect. We can board this one. Oh, wow. They literally both... They just killed each other. Okay, they just killed each other. I had no idea. I had no idea that that was actually going to happen. Okay. Well, we're just going to try our very best here. 90%. Can we actually get a victory? Yes, we can. Oof. Okay. I was actually super worried there for a real quick second. Okay. So we, we got the brig, but we didn't get the pirate bark. I had to actually... I, well, I was trying, if I could, to um, basically just escape from the battle itself. Because I was thinking to myself, okay, we're going to have some huge issues here. You know, if I allow one of these ships to continue doing whatever they want to do, we're going to have some huge problems. So I was just going to just take one of them down. And this one was slightly smaller than the other one. That was the only reason why I decided to do it that way. Anyway, there is a brig. However, I'm thinking, wait a minute, a conversation with Charles Vane. Oh, okay, what? Vane has retired to the furthest corner of the tavern. It's a good place to talk, and it's unlikely that anyone will listen in on you here. Captain, have a swig of rum first. I've landed a real good deal. Listen up. We're going to meet our informant in Evangelista, and he's going to tell us where we can make a real good steal. How about it? Well, yeah, sure. Sounds good. Why not? There we go. We got a new task. Wonderful. Okay, so let's actually just get uh, some crew uh, restored and... Then we're going to take a quick look at this brig here. So, yes, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know how, but these brigs and various other things that are cropping up right here have insane armor. I don't actually know how that's even possible, but they do. Because look at this. This is absolutely crazy. And obviously, uh, we're using a brig... Well, we're using a bark right now, right? But it feels like we're using a sloop. It feels like we're using a sloop with literal one armor or something like that because we're so incredibly fragile. 
So I think what we're going to have to do is obviously Charles doesn't actually have a ship right now. So we're going to just have to give him this brig. But all things considered, I think that that's I, I think that's super funny. I think it's really, really funny how these this brig right here has tier three hull armor. I don't know what actually um, I don't know what, what I don't know what determines that. You see, I don't know what determines what, when that happens or anything. But yeah, that's that's actually crazy in my opinion. Anyway, let's just uh, sell everything that we can. I need to get some grog. By the way, there is actually a quest. For me to get some grog as you can see i've now completed a task and i think i'm probably going to be dividing the loot relatively soon uh, i would like to actually attack this particular uh pirate hideout but i have a bad feeling that i'm not going to be able to do it as you can see look at this <laughs> yeah good luck good luck i'm not going over there that's for sure i am not going over there that is an that is an impossible task for me at the moment so I will have to go over to this place where we've just completed this quest. Where is it? Portobello. Portobello. Okay, yeah. So obviously that's where we had the cannon quest. Or no, no, not the cannon quest. The cannon outfitter person. And along the way, we're going to be fighting a couple of Spanish convoys. There is actually one coming our way, but this is way too strong for us. Not the 562, but there's a 915 right next to it. So we obviously don't want to do that. Just in case. You never know. These kinds of things have happened to me quite often in this game, and I would like to try and avoid the possibility of that happening again. So we're just kind of, um, you know, going to play a little bit careful, because I don't really want to go into a situation where we're going to very, very easily get pounced upon or ambushed or anything like that. And we're just going to play it a bit cool here for the most part. And uh, that's the thing. Once I have a slightly better idea as to what's going on with our with our equipment and everything, I mean, obviously, I need to just upgrade. That's it. You know, I just need to upgrade our ship. But I think what I'm actually going to do is once we get back to Portobello, I might actually try to um, split the uh, split the plunder that we currently have. I think that's probably going to be a, a pretty decent idea for us to do. So let's just see what we can do here. All right. So we obviously have carronades already on Barney's ship. Charles does not. He has nine pounders. So obviously we want to try and replace those. Let's do this. There we go. Okay. That's absolutely perfect. Wonderful. So he has carronades now, as you can see. And he also has an offensive slot, which we could potentially put nothing here. Mm, yes, that happens. And uh, yes, so we need to actually speak to the governor. So let's actually go and speak to the governor right now. There we go. And we're going to get a pretty significant amount of gold from that, as well as reputation. And we, they have another goods quest here, but it is literally just cod liver oil. Don't know whether I'm even going to bother with this, to be honest, but I, I guess. Why not, right? Why not? So yeah, now our morale is slightly better. Let's just see if there are any places, um, well, shall we say, let's just see if there are any ships that we might want to attack. Wow, these are really strong. Yeah, some of these are really, really strong. Okay, what about this one? This is a military vessel, though, by the way, so this is going to be kind of... Hmm, you know, a little bit, a uh, little bit antsy. But it kind of says to me that I should not be using Charles's ram attack, because if I use his ram... I think we're going to have some pretty big issues. So as you can see, the mortar will damage the hull directly by passing the armor as a minimum range. I'm actually going to use it right now, just purely for the fact that I can do some damage with it. But you can see here, the enemy literally has how many hull points? The enemy has, what, six hull points in comparison to, well, this, to, to Seamus's ship, he only has two. So, yes. Uh, I, yeah, there's a big disparity with the... Um, equipment that some of our enemies have at this point. I'm actually going to try and board this vessel if I can. 26% chance. Not really going to... Oh, okay. Apparently it did work. That is hilarious. We'll go for the 73. Oh, that actually worked as well. Can you believe it? Okay, 14%. No, that failed. Of course it did. Okay, so we're just going to try and win this by by just boarding. 20% actually worked. Are you serious? Come on now. There we go. We won the battle. That was super easy, as you might expect. We're going to take over the ships. Oh, this is actually a Corvette. Oh, hello. Okay, I did not realize it was a Corvette. That's very good. 
Okay, I like that. So that means that we should actually go over to Portobello. And we should uh, we should assign our, our ships properly. So I'm actually going to just give Barney this. Because, I mean, really, how can we say no to increase hull points? I mean, really, look at that. That's, uh, I mean, it seems good. Or is that just the Corvette? Maybe that's just the Corvette's, uh, you know, natural... Um, natural improvements or whatever. Anyway, we're just going to give Seamus the bark that we were using beforehand. And then we can go straight on in here and do some wonderful things. I'm actually just going to pause the game real fast as well. Need to make sure that everything's working ad ad adequately. Okay, so there we go. Carronade. Can we, ca can we not do the carronade? Offensive slots are full. Ah, okay. I have to get rid of this one as well. Okay, there we go. Good to know. Wonderful. There we go. Okay, so we've got our carronades up and running, and we have huge amounts of support slots. That's actually really interesting. So I can actually get the light mortar on here as well. I can't get this because this is a defensive slot, um, but I, I don't really want to get rid of defense. I think getting rid of defense at this point, probably not the best idea. I actually really like the fact that we have um, good defense with the Corvette. So yeah, we're just going to buy around here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split the split the uh, the plunder right here as well. So let's just go ahead and do that. As you can see, we are going to be able to complete basically every single thing. Obviously, as you can see right here, I have left it a little bit too long. But all things considered, my morale is actually not even bad. As you can see, my morale is actually pretty good, surprisingly enough. But um, yeah. That's that's absolutely fine because we're just going to be giving all of this. We're gonna we're gonna give quite a lot because I do have quite a lot as it is. So we're gonna give fifty one percent, as you might expect. There we go, fifty one percent, and we're just gonna continue onward from there. There we go. Look at this, good amounts of experience. I'd like to get to level fifteen. Can I make it? Yes. There we go. Okay, so we got to level fifteen. That's wonderful. That's unlocked an additional ability, which now enables me to get Lead Storm. This is something that someone told me about, and uh, you said, yeah, you should probably get this straight away because this basically does a massive amount of damage to Grape Shot if you upgrade it to the maximum. It will also ignore armor. So in other words, you use this, then you do a boarding action. It's pretty much instant win so that's definitely something to take into account i will be taking this of course and i only have two skill points to go for unfortunately so i will be taking boarding frenzy and will probably be uh taking boarding expert because i just don't have the ability to actually upgrade this right now so we're just going to upgrade both of these first just to get them to their max ranks and then we'll be doing lead storm with every other ability point that we have available. Seamus is obviously going to be leveling up too, which is very nice. Let's get him ship resilience, I guess. And obviously Charles is going to be gaining some decent experience too. Technically, it would have been a really good idea to gain captains as fast as possible. Um, but as it stands, yeah, I'm... I, I don't know. I was just kind of stupid about, you know, getting captains and I didn't know where to go. And some of them required a lot of things to be done before we could actually do something. So, yeah. Anyway, capture ships, divide the loot, win sea battles. That's pretty easy. Sink those things. Plunder convoys. That's also relatively easy. Dividing the loot. That should be fine. Accumulate booty. Complete missions. All of this is really, really easy. I guess I'm actually just going to do this. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is easy. Yeah, I mean, all of all of these are easy. So we might as well just go for 100%, right? Might as well just get 100% morale. And then we'll just go into here. There we go. Now we have a full amount of, of crew for every single one, as you can see right here. Very nice indeed. And now, theoretically, I should be able to just continue onward. So, yeah, there we go. So that is very, very nice. We now have a Corvette as well, so I'm very, very pleased. And I actually don't even know. Are we needing anything? Yeah, I need to do this for the Dutch. Need to do this for the English. I uh, still haven't done the main quest, actually, hilariously enough. I need to get 35 barrels of cod liver oil. Need to raid four caravans from the Dutch. Uh, oh, three as well. Oh, okay, there's a whole bunch of those that we need to do. Okay, yeah, so that's absolutely fine, yeah. So that means that uh, we should probably just continue attacking a couple of Spanish convoys here while we have the opportunity to do so, considering we are here. Oh, hello. 
Yeah, this might be good. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> nope, nope. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I might actually try around about now. There we go. And uh, yeah, the main reason why I didn't want to go in before is if they're too close to a town, I am paranoid, okay? I am super paranoid about going close to a town and attacking something because I've done that before in the past and bad things have happened and I just do not want to have that happen again. So we're just going to be a bit careful about things. We are going to attempt to capture this thing. Now that we have our boarding chance, uh, or should we say this boarding frenzy thing has been completely revamped we basically have a lot of a, a much better chance of actually being decent with this um i'm kind of happy with it so let's see if i can actually do some damage here yeah that's some good damage nice that's a little bit more um a little bit more respectable shall we say yes yeah, a little bit more respectable than what we were getting before and we'll just do another little shot there yes nice we're doing some damage and also they've lost action points very good all right, so we're going to continue trying to board them, of course, as you might expect. Can I not? Yeah, no, I can. There we go. Failure? 74%. Come, come, come on. Come on. Are you... Look, what? Charles was successful with 32%. Really? Come on now. Okay, this is absolutely ludicrous. Okay, 100% chance. There we go. Okay, so that's actually working now. And 58% chance. There we go. All right, there we go. Yeah, Charles is literally just an absolute beast by the looks of things. He's doing such an amazing amount of work. Uh, unfortunately, he did manage to lose that one, which is sad. But um, <laughs> that's not his fault. That's not his fault. I feel like Barney's bad luck is literally just affecting everyone else right now. Okay, there we go. Do I need to really continue doing this? Okay, there we go. Finally. I believe that is indeed a victory for us. And there we go. So that's another Corvette. That's another Corvette added to our... Um, added to our captured ships, which is absolutely fantastic. That means that we can now... Don't attack me, please. No, they're not attacking. Don't attack me. No. Thank you. All right. So, yes. That means that we can basically now... Uh, I'm going to give... Uh, I, I guess... Charles? His, his ship strength is much lower for some reason. Uh, it's because it's a brig, I guess. It's, yeah, it's because it's a brig. Okay, so we're just going to give him this Corvette... He doesn't have any uh, any crew right now, but that doesn't really matter because we're really, really close by to uh, Portobello. So we're just going to very quickly go over there to the tavern. We'll get it outfitted with some wonderful carronades. And we're also going to be selling a whole bunch of ships too. So we're going to be gaining a significant amount of cash from that. So here we go. Just going to pause that right there. We're going to go in here. Let's have a look. So yeah. This is perfect. So let's get rid of the 18 pounders actually this thing had. Okay. Wow. That's um, that's that's pretty good actually. That's pretty good. Anyway. Yeah. Let's just go for this. Wonderful. And do we want anything else? I don't think so, right? We can go for that, I guess. I mean, why not? Going to revamp it with the skeleton and uh yeah okay so he's doing fine this is the brig we don't really want to use this brig anymore right so i'm just gonna sell the swivel guns sell the armor plating sell the sabers sell the ship itself there we go and we now also have this brig too which we are going to sell hilariously enough this is what i would love to see I don't know whether this is actually going to get implemented or whether any of these ideas that I have are actually... I mean, technically, I don't really have that many ideas. But, you know, whenever I make a suggestion, it would be kind of cool if this was actually implemented. But obviously, this is just me. Maybe you agree as well. I don't know. But I think it would be cool if the developers actually implemented a way for you to take off certain upgrades from other ships and put them onto your own ship. Because I'd love to be able to take off this hull and put it onto my Corvette. Because that's an insane upgrade. It's such a such a good upgrade. But unfortunately, I'm not able to do that. So in other words, I can just sell it. That's it. That's all I can do. I can just sell it. So yeah, that is exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to get 53000 for the hull itself. That is more than the entire ship is worth. That kind of puts into, into perspective potentially for you just how incredible some of these things actually are. And that means, to me at least, 
that it would make so much more sense if you were able to take these things off and actually be able to customize your ships with a little bit more control. At least that's what I think. Anyway, uh, let's just go here, sell all of that. There we go. Uh, actually, wait a minute. Um, we need uh, cod liver oil, don't we? Yeah, we need a, we need 35 cod liver oil, so we're just going to buy that. There we go. And we completed another task. So let's actually just take a quick look. Where do I need to go? Uh, it's actually, what? It's Portobello? Are you serious? I'm right here. That is the most hilarious thing ever. There you go. Okay. <laughs> That's really funny. All right, so we are actually infamous with Spain right now because I have been attacking them quite considerably. So that's obviously not very good. Personal protection, what is this? Hmm, I'm a bit worried about doing any of those. Okay, well, what is this? Next to the governor waits another person in fine clothing. Welcome. Perhaps you already know Martin David. Martin David is on his way to Puerto Cabrizas with important cargo and he requires a suitable escort. Would you be interested? I'll do it. Portobello to Puerto I have no idea where that is. So this is real bad. Where where is he? Is it is it that guy? Yeah, it's this guy. Alright. So wait a minute. Okay, so this this is the fellow. Is he gonna follow me or do I just follow him? No, no, he follows me, as you can see. Okay, so he follows me. He has 642 combat strength. We have 1,500 now, just to put that in perspective. That's actually pretty insane. Okay, that's real nice. Okay, so where is Puerto... Uh, where, Where is that? Oh, there it is. Oh, it's actually not even far. It's actually not even far. I am surprised. I am very, very surprised. Okay, so let's turn around. We'll just speed things up. And then we'll make our way over here. Uh, I'm a little bit worried that he's a bit slow. Is he slow? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a bit worried about that. Okay, so this is where we need to go. So I'm basically just gonna go off. Is he... Is he... Is he okay? Because <laughs> he's, he's going all over the place right now. That is super funny. All right, yeah. I've never done this before, so I have no idea how the AI is actually going to react to anything. I can only hope that we do not get attacked. I'd love to be able to attack that. Oh. Never mind. Yeah, I wanted to attack that uh, that Dutch ship right there, but oh well, no such luck. No such luck for me today. Gonna have to do that when we're not on an escort mission, of course. Gotta take this seriously, you know. Gotta gotta do the whole honor among pirates thing. Yeah, you know. Uh, even though we're working for a governor, you know, that's not really uh, that's not really what the, what we're doing here. Okay. Ooh, hello. This is a pirate vessel and a half, isn't it? Okay. So you have a frigate. Ooh, that's gonna be nice to add to our. Um, add to our fleet for sure so hopefully we'll be able to do something here i would be very pleased oh actually wait maybe not the frigate doesn't seem that good i don't know as you can see the corvette has massive amounts more hp so i'm actually thinking that maybe the frigate isn't even that good i don't know maybe it's not that good okay well we're just going to use this just going to try and do some damage as you can see it did five damage to the hull which is actually pretty good the mortar seems like a decent ish um, solution for, for ranged, surprisingly enough. I wouldn't have expected it, but yeah, it actually isn't bad. As you can see, look at how much damage it's doing. That's pretty good. Wow. I'm pleasantly surprised, I guess, by this. Alright, so they're going to do some damage here. They're really not going to be able to do too much to us. Okay, so which one is actually the, the frigate? This one, right? Yeah, this one. So we're just going to use this. Just going to attack here at 95%. Board it, board it. Uh, yeah, go go there. Why isn't why isn't this executing? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That was a little bit weird. Okay, I think it was because my mouse was actually um, mousing over this, even though I was clicking execute. But because my camera was here, it was kind of like uh, confusing the game a little bit. Okay, that was that was kind of weird. Anyway, there we go. We're just gonna. I, I should we just try boarding both? Let's try boarding both. I don't know whether this is actually going to work. Failed. Charles has a hard time doing this. Oh, are you serious? Okay, he's winning now. Okay. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, he's actually successful this time around. Very nice indeed. And come on, Charles. You can do this. 
Okay, we're gonna execute this. Uh, do I? Can I not? Can I not actually do anything? No, I can't actually do anything right now. Okay, so we're gonna have to either shoot. I guess we could shoot. Yeah, we'll do some damage if we can. I mean, it's highly unlikely that I'm gonna be able to do anything from here, to be honest. And uh, we can actually maybe, yeah, we've already captured that one. So we can now just do 58 here. Seamus can actually help out Charles a little bit. And I believe that is indeed a victory for us. Surprising. For some reason, Barney is terrible. Barney is terrible at actually uh, boarding things, even though he has the buff. You know, he literally has the buff. Anyway, um, yeah, here's to not seeing you again. There we go. We literally made him walk the plank. We've got a frigate now, which is very nice. And uh, yeah, that means I'm just going to pause the game real fast. As you told me very helpfully, by the way, thank you very much for this, because I had no idea that you could actually assign ships when you weren't in a port. So that makes a huge difference. It really does. And um, yeah, so what we're going to do now is we're going to just take a quick look. So yeah, Seamus is going to be the one that will use the new frigate, as you might expect. And uh, yeah, otherwise we are pretty good. I don't think we need to worry too much about anything else. And this is the port to where we need to be. We just destroyed the enemy. And this guy is going to come in here and he's going to be very, very pleased. Um, or not. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. It almost didn't work. At least not without you. Here, you've earned this. And there we go. We got 39,532 reputation with Spain, which is actually very nice. And uh, we should go over to the Harbour Master as well, because we do want to sell a couple of things. So we have the brig that um, we also captured. And I think we're probably just going to be selling this generally. I don't think that there's a reason to actually keep this thing. So we're just going to get rid of that. The frigate is obviously being piloted by Seamus now, so that's absolutely fine. And the bark is something that we can just sell off. I don't see a reason to keep it. Because we now have... Pretty decent things going on here. Bear in mind, however, I am going to try and do something that someone suggested. And that is, I'm going to try, if I can, to get some spare ships. And any spare ships that I have, and I'm not talking about barks here, I'm talking about anything higher than that. Maybe a pirate bark and above. I will place in my pirate hideout. And we can then have them for safekeeping. So basically, when if we if we are defeated, we can then go over to our pirate hideout and retrieve some of our backup ships. That's basically what you suggested. And I'm thinking, yeah, you know what? That's an extremely good idea. So thank you very much for that. Anyway, let's take a look at our fleet real fast. Everyone is maxed out. As you can see, we have 90 crew, 70 crew. Yeah, very good. All right, wonderful, wonderful. So... What we need to do now is we need to fight one more Spanish fleet. Uh, hmm. This is a little bit problematic, isn't it? Yes. I'm not entirely sure if we can even find one that is within our... Uh, well, I basically just want to murder. I just want to murder something very easy right now. So I would like to find something that is quite simple. Uh, maybe we should just board everything that we come across, potentially. I don't know, maybe that would be a good idea. But you've got to bear in mind also that um, we don't yet have the correct guns for Seamus' vessel. We haven't yet done that. So we should probably go ahead and just do that right quick. There we go. All right, here we go. There, there it is. Okay, so what are we currently using? 18 pounders. Okay, yeah, that's perfectly fine. Let's just do this. Get rid of that. There we are. And we can also get the uh, the light mortar as well, which is really nice. Yeah. Uh, for me personally, I think the light mortar is surprisingly very strong. I don't know. Maybe it's just me or I don't know. Maybe it's actually not strong. Tell me. What do you think? What do you think of the light mortar? It's okay. I mean, it seems to do pretty decent damage. And it ignores armor, which is also, well, one of the main reasons why I actually think it's kind of good. Uh, but apart from that, obviously, it's not that good against higher tier units. Because higher tier enemies are literally just going to absorb that damage and just be like, Oh, did you hit me? Hmm. I don't, I don't feel anything. Yeah, that's exactly what's going on there. Anyway, now I think we might be able to move on and we might even be able to capture that pirate hideout. I'm thinking we might be able to do that. However, the main thing that we have to bear in mind here is that 
This is the final Spanish ship that we need. Haha, -ha, very nice. Okay, yeah, so we're basically just going to go for a very, very quick boarding action here. Not going to try and murder them at all. Might try and shoot them a little bit with the mortar. Can I skip this? I can't actually skip this action for some reason. That needs to be fixed, in my opinion. Because, uh, you know, having that not be skippable is a bit weird. Anyway, we're just going to try and do some damage. Stowage leak. Nice. Look at that. We actually... Wait, wait. Does he have a stowage leak? No, he has a stowage leak. Oh, I need to go over to the uh, to the repair place. Yes, I need to go over to the repair place. That's really going to make a huge difference. Okay, so let's just execute this for now. And then we will just board this nice and fast. Another 91. Wow, 91%. Wow, that's crazy, Seamus. He's doing a fantastic job. I failed a 90% with the boarding buff. Right. Okay. That happens, I guess. That happens. Okay, there we go. We actually won that. Can you believe it? But there's there's always some kind of weird thing happening to us. I don't even know. Anyway, there we go. We were able to do it. And now we have completed these two tasks, which is absolutely wonderful. However, the Spanish are not liking us one bit, so I will have to do some additional... Uh, additional quests for them potentially okay so we have many many corvettes now so i'm actually thinking that we might just replace the frigate that we have uh number of cannons five how many cannons do these guys have they have five as well yeah so we're basically just gonna give seamus the spare corvette hmm he has more more strength though as you can see he has more strength, mostly because he has more crew. So, should I just leave him with the with the frigate? Yeah, I think I'm just going to leave him with the frigate for now, actually. I don't see a reason for us to do anything else with that. So, I guess the best thing I can do is just repair all of our ships. Just go into the marketplace, sell our provisions. And we do want to go and buy around, get some additional people. Let's have a look-see here. Yeah, they're all fine wonderful okay yeah so everyone is looking pretty good and i should now probably make my way back to my pirate hideout we're literally just going to fast travel there straight away and we are going to have a look and see what i actually need to be able to get the dry dock the dry dock is round shot ropes and wood i'm obviously going to be doing this off screen so that you don't have to watch me get all these resources but i will be getting these resources and we'll be building this, and then I'll be placing the Corvette, or whatever we have, spare, in there. And then when we are defeated, if we are defeated, it's more a case of when, I think. But when we're defeated, we then have a spare ship that we will be able to utilize almost immediately. Sounds like a pretty good idea, don't you think? I think so. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.